over here! For those of you guys who have not uh, experienced this before or want a refresher on how this works, Comic Foil has um, compiled a list of 40 songs ranging from easy to impossible um, <laughs> uh, based on suggestions that he got from uh, our followers. And basically, he's going to send them to me. I'm going to play them. I don't know what they're going to be. I have to guess what they are. And if I recall correctly, we have a point system here. Yes, so um, this has been easily the most submissions we've gone for any of these yet. Um, I, hundreds, Oscar, hundreds really? of songs being sent to me Get by God. And, and I looked at every single damn one of them because I love you guys. Um, <laughs> it was hard to narrow down. I narrowed it down actually to 60 first and from those 60 i'm picking the 40 we're gonna do so you're gonna see these files actually are numbered one to 60 don't worry i know which ones to skip okay um, okay but if, but if we skip from like track three to track five don't worry about it it's part of the plan i gotcha, I gotcha. um and yeah so um there's gonna be 40 songs across four categories mm -hmm. each song is worth three points to get these points you'll get one point if you can guess what franchise it's from yes it uh you will get another point if you can guess uh what game specifically it's from hey ari's in the chat hi ari hey um and you will get a third point if you know what the song is i don't need the name of the song but you got to tell me something about it where it plays what is the context of the song yeah like if i can't get the title i can ever i can never really say like oh i don't know the title of the song to this level but i know it's from this level yeah you can say like if you don't know the if you can't remember the name devil trigger you can be like oh this is um this is nero's theme right i'll accept that yeah that's easy enough I think we've done that a couple of times, actually, because um, I was looking back at our previous videos, and one example we had is, like, I, I did manage to get the title, but, like, I, I said Cool Edge from uh, Sonic Unleashed, but you would have accept you would have accepted Holoska. Yeah, because mm -hmm. the area is Holoska, the name of the level is, or the name of the song is Cool Edge. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, that's basically the general gist, um, and uh, I am ready to get started, so let's see what we got. All right, so we are starting in the easy category. Sounds um, good. None of these are from me this time. Okay. This is going to be 100% uh, subscriber submitted songs, and we are st starting here today with track numero uno. All right. Here we go. Yeah, when you meant when you said easy, you weren't kidding when you said easy. <laughs> well, I, I mean, we don't want to go right to sixty here. Oh no, I, like I like of course, like we're we are progressing on the level of difficulty here. But yeah, this is easy. Cass's theme, Breath of the Wild. Absolutely. Uh, this is submitted by Kenna, by the way. I'll also be telling you who submitted each song. I almost forgot this time. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. Um, yeah, Cass's theme, wonderful. Like. Definitely became a meme in the Breath of the Wild community. <laughs> yeah, so this would get you three points because you knew the game and the franchise and the actual song. Awesome. Um, oh, yes, yeah, Solar Gem. Absolutely, you guys can guess. Um, if you want to throw out your guesses in the chat, if you just want to guess by yourself, um, you know, if you want to keep score for yourself. Uh, let me know if anybody needs a reminder of the scoring system. Yeah, and, and to and to remind everyone, it uh, like it's okay if you want to guess because I cannot see the chat. I moved my entire my entire system off screen, so I'm not going to be able to like see anything. Um, and uh, yeah, pretty much uh, that's the situation. So guess all you want. I'm not going to be able to see it. All right, let's move on to uh, number two here. All right, here we go. Oh, I've been enjoying this game like crazy over the past few weeks. Fodlin wins Fire Emblem Warriors Three Hopes. Correct. Mm -hmm. uh, so this is from uh, Hunter Zikafus. Mm -hmm. Submitted this one for us. Dude. Um, I, 
I believe this is the, like, Inferno version of the song. Uh, yes, actually, because there is a, uh, Calm version and an, a, an Inferno version. Kind of the same way, like, there's a Calm and a Thunder version in Three Houses, like, there's the map, there's the level map, and then there's, like, a different variation of it when you're in battle. This plays yeah. whenever there's a high octane moment or whenever you're trying to take over a base, if I recall correctly. Oh no no no! I think what ha I think what it is is that it play. This actually plays. Get over here. This actually plays um entirely throughout the stage, but you get the calm version when you're pausing. Oh okay. That's so neat. like so there's a calm version when you're in the pause menu when you're like doing tactics and stuff like that. All right. So yeah, that that was pretty good. Love, love the soundtrack in uh, Fire Emblem Warriors Three Hopes. Like, honestly, like w Warriors games have a banging trap, banging soundtrack. Like a lot of the time. All right, let's move on then to track number three. All right. Uh, this one is submitted by God's Little Princess. Ah, um, I gotta, gotcha. I gotta nice. get in the uh, in the process of saying who submitted it right away so I don't forget. Sounds good. All right then, here we go. Get over here! Oh, Half Crooked Grin, thank you for the subscribe. Yeah, I can't see those either, so. Yeah, I will call those out as well. Thank you. All right, so this one's pretty easy, specifically because I actually prefer this battle theme over the other one for Persona 4 Golden, or just Persona 4 in general. We make history! Yep. Yeah, uh, time I, to make history, to be exact. Time to make history, okay. I'm, su I'm sure people call it slightly different things. Yeah, either way, Persona 4, Persona 4 battle theme. One yeah. of them, anyway, because I know the other one is, uh, um, Wake Up to the Truth, I think is what it's called. Yeah. Yeah, I, I know a lot of people prefer that one, but I actually like this one better. I kind of, I kind of like the more subdued and the more high octane uh, tempo. But that's just me. Well, well you are uh, nine points for nine right now. Awesome. Um, so I, 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 I need to keep my track record of having all perfect during the easy <laughs> section. <laughs> yeah, through the easy. Well, we'll we'll see. There's a few slightly more tricky ones, I think, this time. But all right, all right. Um, this one here was submitted, uh, this is another one from Hunter Zikafus. Alright, let's see. This one might take you a little bit longer to catch. Um, no, I know exactly what it is. <laughs> Hang on, I'll, I'll play the scene for you. Explosions, the demo man comes in. Medic! The medic pushes up his glasses, activates the oop, uh, activates the meta gun, starts healing people. Yeah, this is the it's medic's the theme. Proof. This is the medic's theme. Team Fortress Two. Um, I think the title of the song is um, "Time to Practice Medicine." Um, from what I have, the title of the song is just "Medic" in all caps. Okay. Then yeah, it, it's the medic's theme. <laughs> Doctor. ARE YOU SURE THIS WILL WORK?! <laughs> I HAVE NO IDEA! <laughs> and the Very charge. Good. YEAH! Uh, <laughs> by the way, let me just check, because uh, Hunter asked, anyway. and there's a few other people, um, I want to know from a few other people, how is the volume on the songs Oscar's playing? Does it need to be any louder? Um, oh, one person said, ow, a bit too loud. Sorry about that. One person said a little low. Um, okay, I, I can raise the volume on the songs a bit. There you go, that might be better. Much better? Okay. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, All dude, right. fucking Medic's theme, fantastic. That, that trailer, Meet the Medic, was fan-fucking-tastic. That's probably the best trailer. I think it is the best trailer of the Meet the Videos. I have a soft spot for Meet the Engineer, but Medic is the best. Yeah, I like if if you were to ask me, I have a soft spot for Meet the Sniper. Sniper's also a great one. Yeah, they they, they did a really really good um overall like they they, they directed that one really well. Yeah, and I Meet think the that, Spy is really good too. Mm -hmm. Meet the Spy was just a whole short short film. All right, ready for uh, the next one. 
All right. This one comes to us from Palm Tree, who is in the chat right now. Thank you very much, Palm Tree. All right. Here we go. Hmm. I don't know the name of the level because it's been a while since I played this song or played this game. But I know for a fact that this is Kirby and the Amazing Mirror. It's the first stage. Uh, the Grassland, whatever it's called. But yeah, I know this is Kirby and the Amazing Mirror. Uh, so this song, I believe, is used both in the Amazing Mirror and in Squeak Squad. Is it? Um, and it is the forest area theme, so I'm going to give it to you. All right, then. Yeah, because like, I, I know like all of the areas in... Uh, I remember specifically from Kirby and the Amazing Mirror because I played that game like crazy when I was a kid. Um, and yeah, anytime I started the game, this was the first song I hear. Alright, I was wondering if this one was going to trip you up with which Kirby game it was from. Mm. Yeah, because it's definitely very Kirby-esque. Yeah. Alright, All right, very good so far. Excellent. I'm ready for the next one. All right, this one comes from our very own Chica Arts. Awesome. Let's see. I know this one. Um, I'm trying Kaler to is asking where it's from, though. Kaylor is asking, does the one per franchise rule apply? No, we can have multiple songs from the same franchise, from the same game. Anything goes. Uh, Palm Tree got it. Uh, Joel, Joel Yoshi got it. Hmm. Shika has typed a little kitty face. Um, I know, I know this melody. I think this is Silent Hill. I think this is Silent Hill. I want to say the Silent Hill 2... Yeah, no, this has to be Silent Hill 2. If, if this is easy mode, it has to be. Silent Hill 2, I'm going to say the title theme. Is that your final answer? Yes, it is. It is from Silent Hill 2. You are correct. Um, it's not the title theme. Um, this song is called Promise. It's actually the reprise of Promise, and it plays during a particularly like reflective cutscenes and stuff like that. Gotcha. All uh, right. So I think... I think I can give you two points for that one. Yeah, two, two, two is acceptable on that one. Damn. I, I guess, like, the title theme is actually the, um... Uh, I forget what it's called. I, I, I am... This is definitely the first one that I'm the least familiar with. Particularly because, again, I'm not the biggest horror buff. Like, even though I know Silent Hill 2 like crazy, compared to, like, most other non-horror buffs anyway. Because I, I only played, like, Silent Hill 2, like, twice. You know? Yeah, um... But uh okay, well, yeah, two points. Damn, I broke my I broke my perfect streak there. Oh well. That was fast. Uh well I'll tell you uh something that'll cheer you up a little bit. We have sixty-nine nice people in the stream right now. Nice. <laughs> oh, damn it, now we have seventy. Ah. I'm sorry. Hey, it was, uh, it sorry. was nice while it lasted. It was nice while it lasted. Um And Joel just redeemed a posture check of one hundred bits. Thank uh, you very much. Thank you going to make sure I uh, do that. Oh, you know what? I just realized I don't have a water bottle up here. Eh, that's fine. Uh, that is not fine, sir. Um, water is very important to Strem. Th that's true. Hey, tell you what, let's get past the easy games first, and then we can. And I'll go grab a water bottle real quick. Okay, we're a little more than halfway through easy mode here. Here's mm -hmm. a song from Wilson Watts. All right, here we go. Oh, yeah, I know this one. Um, this is the Ghost Train from Cuphead. It is absolutely the Ghost Train from Cuphead. Mm -hmm. Dude, this this boss fight tripped me up so much when I first played Cuphead. Yeah, this one's tough because you got the platform you have to manually move. It's a really good boss fight, though. I definitely enjoyed it more than freaking Grim Matchstick. Grim, Ma really like Gr Grim Matchstick was just frustrating. I really like how the winds in this song actually, like, mimic a train horn. Yeah, I noticed that. Like, they do a lot of really, really cool stuff. Um, 
with uh, the motifs of the instruments that they use, like, based on what they are representing. You can actually hear some, like, really cool, like, metallic sounds coming from when you fight uh, Dr. Call's robot. And, yeah. dude, the guy who played, like, give the whoever played the trombone solo to freaking Honeycomb Herald a freaking medal, because the dude is a professional. Yeah, no, uh, this song actually yeah. is called Railroad Wrath. Yeah, I, I didn't, I don't, I don't remember, I didn't remember what the title of it was, I just know it was for the Ghost Train. Yeah, you got the right boss, mm -hmm. so. So, acceptable? Good enough for me. All yep, right, uh, me. you have 20 points out of 21 right now. Alrighty. Almost perfect so far. Oh, oh, almost perfect. <laughs> you know, the first, the first miss hurts the most, so... You got that out of the way. That's good. Yeah. Hey, I, I'm not. I'm not going to. I'm not going to fault myself too much for missing a Silent Hill one because I'm most. I'm not all too familiar with Silent Hill. Uh, so this one is going to be from Super Sonic <clears throat> Chow. All right. Uh, if it's a Sonic song, I'm going to be like that too easy. Yeah. Give it time to get into the melody. I was like, wait a second, wait a second. Okay, I do know this one specifically. So, like, some people would be like, oh, this is the Street Fighter 4 uh, theme. No, this is, uh, this is, a uh, uh, I forget what the name of the stage is, but it's the Volcanic, uh, the Volcanic Arena. A Volcanic Rim. Volcanic Rim, that's it, yeah. Yeah, this is the Volcano stage from, uh, Super Street Fighter 4. That, you got it right on the money. Mm -hmm. Um, it... I know this song because they use this for the trailers a lot. They did, they did. But and, yes, and, and, and that's and that's why and, and that's why you would think like, oh, it's the Street Fighter Four title theme, but or like the main theme, but no, the the main theme is actually a lot slower. Th yeah. This one's a lot more high octane, but like that's why they use it for trailers because it's basically just you know a reprise of the main theme, just a lot faster and a lot more energetic. Yeah. Very good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like, I, I got my start uh, on Street Fighter with Street Fighter 2, but it wasn't until Street Fighter 3rd Strike and Street Fighter 4 that I really started becoming a Street Fighter fan. I always liked the characters. I was always garbage at the actual game. Uh, the, like, fighting games are not easy to get in, not get into, dude. Like, like a lot of people are, uh, like, a lot of people are like, uh, hey, they ask these, fighting ga these professional fighting gamers, oh my god, like, you have so much talent, how did you get into this? And the main thing that they'll tell you, practice. It's literally, like, getting good at fighting games is literally all about practice. Yeah. I got to a point with Super Smash Brothers where I just, like, oh, um, Josh the Knife Fury wants to know who's your main in Street Fighter. Um, my main in Street Fighter depends on the game, but, um, I usually main Ibuki, um, or... Of course you I, do. I mean, I like her, I wanted to get good with her, but if I want to, if I want a character that I, like, want to be, like, you know... If it's a character that I really want to, like, try and actually win with, usually Ryu. Uh, Tanuki Player, I do not have a main. I don't play Street Fighter enough, but my favorite character from Street Fighter is Zangief. Mm-hmm. I actually got, I actually got good with Zangief, um, in Street Fighter V, oddly enough. Um, are we ready for the next one? Yep, uh, so this one comes to us again from Wilson Watts. All right, here we go. Oh man, those beginning notes are way too freaking familiar. I just wanna, I, j I just wanna vibe with this a little bit. Paltry got it. E Sarge got it. I'm just gonna say right now, if anyone's curious, look up DJVS. Um, and when he mixed Vampire Killer with this song, which, by the way, is You and Owen Was Her from Toho 6. Very good. Mm hmm No, dude, like, DJ DS did a really, really cool remix that mixed this song with Vampire Killer, and it's fantastic. But yeah, no, th this one's a classic. Like, even if you even if you have no idea what Toho is, you probably at least have heard this song. Oh, Oscar, um, Amber is on the stream. She says, hi, sweetie. Hey! Yeah, Amber's at the beach right now. She is enjoying a nice 
much deserved time at the beach. Have a good time, Amber. Mm -hmm. Love you, honey. Um, we got one more for easy mode here. All right, here we go. I am ready. And this one comes to us from Destiny Dragon Gino. All right, Gino, what do you got for me here? <laughs> of course Gino would send this one. I better sit. I, I gotta say, Oscar, you better get this one because you have not shut up about this. Malzino! <laughs> Monster Hunter Rise! I need to put this one in easy mode because you've talked about Malzino a lot to me. I, dude, the update to Rise is so freaking good. I, like, yeah, I know I don't shut up about Monster Hunter, but give me a break here. <laughs> M Malzino, in particular, I know you really liked. Dude, it's a vampire dragon. Like, the, the whole thing with Rise is that they gave us a vampire dragon, an ice werewolf, and a freaking gorilla Frankenstein. Like, that's so cool. Fun fact, actually, I used this song um, a little while ago, actually, when Shika uh, and I did uh, Draw the Music Track. Uh, she could just said the same thing in chat, actually, oh. yeah. <laughs> well, there you go. And, um, excuse me, it would actually be Gorilla Frankenstein's monster. Whatever! Well, great job, Oscar. You are finishing off easy mode at 29 out of 30. Almost perfect. Hey, you know, you can't win them all. Um, yeah. While this song plays real quick, I'm going to grab a bottle of water. All right. Be right back. I don't know what that sound was. Was that to the, the get-up sound? To give context here, my scorpion necklace has a has a oh, habit look at of that. hooking onto any wires I try to take off my. Nice. Be right back. Um, it was so funny. Um, the last time Oscar was over for recording, uh, Amber was there too, and she was sitting on her armchair um, working on a commission. And Oscar came over behind her and, like, gave her a kiss on the top of the head. And that same scorpion necklace, like, attached... It's, it's got this, like, hook-like tail. And it actually, like, crane game hooked her glasses and took them off. It's, like, the funniest thing in the world to me. All right. Uh, Water has been achieved. Uh, Macassandris, hey, I'm doing good. Um, Bot Ben apparently has been playing along and has 24 out of 30. Not bad at all. Awesome. All right, so we're moving on to medium. Um, Trey <clears throat> said, "Oscar, don't fall again." I'll try not uh, to. We we've seen some pretty bad falls on your stream before. Hey, it makes for good content. So while playing this game in particular. <laughs> so did you feel like the songs were ramping up a little bit in obscurity? I know you were still very ably blasting through them, but I I could feel it a little bit, like. It started to get there once we hit the Silent Hill one. Yeah, uh, Shika, you're the only per person to uh, get Oscar slightly with the context of the song, so not quite a stump, but you tripped him up a little bit. Yep. So welcome to Intermediate Mode. All right. Um, our first song here is from Austin Skywalker. Uh, you're going to want to give this one a little bit to build up before it's really recognizable. Yeah, I figured. I think I might already know it, though. Uh, BP is asking oh. what two songs did they yep, miss? Yep, I know this one. Um, I believe the title of this song is called Promise. This is Roxas' theme from Kingdom Hearts. And to be a little bit mean, do you know which Kingdom Hearts this one is from? This is not the one from Kingdom Hearts 2, is it? Uh, let... let Try and guess based on the instruments, on the instrumentation. No, this is way more detailed than the Kingdom Hearts 2. No, this is not Kingdom Hearts 2. Is this Kingdom Hearts 3? 
You are correct. This this arrangement specifically is Roxas's return, Kingdom Hearts oh, 3. Oh, okay. See, Kingdom Hearts 3 and I have a complicated relationship. I will say this. I will say this, though. This music is beautiful. If, there, if there's one thing I will never, ever give Kingdom Hearts crap for, it's its soundtrack. Oh, like, yeah. They're, they're, Kingdom Hearts songs don't miss. Their music is absolutely gorgeous. But, uh, yeah, Yoko Shima, uh, Shimamura, amazing Absolute composer. Genius. Absolute genius. Yeah, okay, yeah, like, I, I, I'm listening to it now, and it's like, yeah, this is a lot more detailed than the Kingdom Hearts 2 version, because I've heard the Kingdom Hearts 2 uh, version of Roxas' theme a lot. So, yeah, there are details in here that I've never heard before. Absolutely right, you're beautiful. Starting intermediate out strong, let's go to... Our next choice from Austin Skywalker again. Oh, Austin, I put you twice in a row there. It, 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 it is what it is. Ready? Yep. Get over here! Oh, man. The PTSD is like fanning me a little bit here on this one. Extreme Measures Hades from Hades. You got it. This is uh, The Unseen Ones is the name of the song. Okay. Uh, have Crooked Grin. Thank you for the 100. Yeah, I, I, like, I don't I don't think I... I, did, I didn't remember the title, but I know for a fact that this is Extreme Measures Hades specifically. Dude, Extreme Measures Hades is bonkers as a boss fight. I was doing. I, I fought him once, and I was doing pretty well until he summoned Cerberus, and that threw me off my game so hard that I died. Dude, like the first time I saw that, I was like, "Oh my!" And Cerberus does so much damage to you. Like I, I remember every time after that, whenever I fought Extreme Measures Hades, I would make sure that my. Uh, that my call was ready, specifically one that makes me invincible, and I save it specifically to deal with Cerberus. But yeah, there you go. All right. Oh, this you're makes me want to play Hades again. You're at a 35 out of 36 here. Awesome. Um, we need number 18 here. Which is actually number what? Uh, this is actually number 13 for you. Gotcha. Right. Yeah, sorry. There's some. I had a number system because I have some extra songs. Yeah, no, I here. gotcha. Don't worry about it. Ready? Yep. This one is, again, from Hunter. Got it. Hunter Zikafus. Hunter versus the Red Spy. Ooh. Okay, I know the song, but I don't know the variation. Huh. I don't know if I've actually heard this variation before. So, I know for a fact that this is 1010's theme from No Straight Roads, but I don't know the mix. Huh. Um, I would give it to you for at least knowing that it's a remix of that. Yeah, because, I like, they, they, they do that in No Straight Roads, is that, like, they... They've handed out the, the theme to, like, several artists, and each of them put their own take on it. Yeah. I don't I mean, know you, what this one is, though. You know it's not the original of it. So no, it's not. This, was, this wasn't No Straight Road's Encore Edition. This is the remix by Michael Staple. Nice. Yeah. Ten -ten, Ten Ten's theme is actually pretty good. Like, I'm not one for boy bands, but this one slaps. Yeah, especially with those, especially with those like heavy percussion hits right there, and this, these vocals. Ooh. Oh, okay. Yo, I gotta listen to the encore editions of these boss themes. I don't think I actually got the chance yet. Huh. Yeah, dude, I got, I gotta go back and listen to these to the encore songs. Wow, this is really good. Get over here. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! What just happened here? Uh, unluck unlucky thirteen. 130 uh thank you for gifting tier one subs uh gifted a total of 20 tier one subs to the 20, channel thank 20 you very gift much. subs dude 
Oh, I'm sorry, 10, but ten thank you very subs. much. You're still 10 gift subs? That Jesus. still insane. Wow, thank you so much, Lucky. Unlucky. Sorry. Get over here! Uh, I mean, we're feeling pretty lucky right now. That's great. Oh, no, dude. Freaking... Y you remember I was talking to you about that one dude that I play Monster Hunter with, Mitch? Yeah. Yeah, here. that's him. He doesn't like oh, it when I call Mitch. him... He doesn't like when I call him Lucky. Because <laughs> he insists I call him Unlucky, and I'm like... <laughs> I don't know. I like the I like the name Lucky. He says he's he says he's gonna rage. Oh boy. Yeah. Oh man, I, yeah, I gotta go back to no straight roads did, did on board and like listen to this dude. Holy crap. Did you just give another Get 20 subs in response oh, to that, Mitch? Oh my god. You're a madman. He no, dude, I can tell you stories about unlucky. Don't get me started. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you so much, Get Unlucky. Seriously, it, it's it. It must be hard to call you Unlucky because he clearly feels such positive feelings about you. That that's a good way. That's a good way to put it. <laughs> All right, so let's move on before I lose Get myself here. here. Uh, this one is coming to you from Jeppo fourteen fifty seven. All right, awesome. Here we go. Oh, this is bringing Get back freaking here. memories. I, I thought you'd probably recognize this. <laughs> the chat's enjoying this one. Well, I'm pretty sure because now they're getting now they're getting memories of Waluigi busting a move. Destruction Dance, uh, Dance Dance Revolution Mario Mix. That is correct. Legit, actually, though, like the the songs in Dance Dance Revolution Mario Mix are silly as hell, here. but they are genuinely fun to listen to, dude. They remixed Destruction Dance and made it a goddamn bop. Uh, Stage 5 JD, Get thank you for the gifted here. sub. Oh, goodness. Uh, I'm gonna be listening to a lot of these gift subs just coming through, aren't I? Yeah, we do kind of have a disco thing going right now. Oh, yeah, this Get is totally disco. Here. Absolutely. Uh, disco and a little bit of pop. Well, I feel like it's going to flow really nice into this next one that I got for you here. All right, let's hear it. Uh, this one is coming to us from the Roman Vulcan. All right. Next up, here we go. We got a lot of good ones for oh, the club tonight. I know this one. Get over here! Get over here! Yep. By the way, a water boss that I actually Get do enjoy. Crypt of the Necro Crypt of the Necro Dancer, Coral Rift. Yep. Mm-hmm. This game. This game gives me anxiety. <laughs> Yeah, I remember you were telling me that you were trying to go through it, but holy crap, it's not a good game to stream because you can't talk while you're playing it. Because you yeah, gotta I, keep track of the rhythm. I did this for a uh, Steam Sember episode, and it was awful. Yeah, I imagine. Like, I, I kind of pride myself, admittedly, in being able to keep up a beat w even while doing something else, but that comes from being a musician. Get like, year years of playing the piano have, like, trained me, up, trained me for that, you know? Yeah. I wonder. It feels weird to call Necrodancer a rhythm game. I mean, I mean, it is like Get you need rhythm, here. but like, I don't know. It, it, it's like a roguelike with a little bit of like a rhythm game spin to it. It's, it's basically a rhythm roguelike. Get over here! Yeah, good, good game. I beat, I beat the game with a uh, with Cadence, and I beat the second campaign and then uh, i got to aria's one hit run and i was like hell no yeah no K K i actually argue that Mel here. melody's run is actually easier than cadence's yeah melody's i had a pretty easy time with yeah because the, the the golden loot is just really a really busted weapon and you have that all the time with melody aria oh goodness aria's uh, aria's whole thing was just insane yeah i don't want to do a perfect run thank you very much <laughs> i don't blame you I put myself through that grindstone, and I'm not gonna lie, it was kind of worth it. Try Nocturna one of these Get days if you, if, if, like, if it tickles your fan. That then again, actually, 
I don't know how much you'll enjoy Nocturna because um, the the final boss of Nocturna's run, uh, the conductor, is equally as hard as like, a... as like some of the hardest bosses in that game. They're making another game now. Um, yeah, Rift of the Necrodancer. That's it. I'm looking forward to that. All right, so ready for the next one. All right. Um, this one here. here is coming to us from Remnant Bardock. Here we go. I do have to play Cadence of Hyrule, though. Cadence of Hyrule's great. Here. Get over here! Get over here! Oh, he's not sure. I actually am not sure about this one. Okay. I am getting a certain vibe, though. Get over here! Uh, Rogue Mage Gamer, you're on the right track. Uh, Destiny Dragon Gino, you are also on the right track. Daring Wyverna, you're on the right track. Okay, so I was kind of, like, listening to it and trying to, like... So, my, my immediate thought, it's either Blaze Blue or Guilty Gear. But now listening to the guitar riffs, like, they have a very a much more melodic uh, guitar. So I'm thinking this is Blaze Blue. I don't know whose theme it is, though. Considering that this is intermediate mode. God, but which one? Alright. I'm going to go with my gut here and say that this is Blaze Blue. In regards to what theme it is, I'm going to take a wild guess and say this is Ragnar the Blood Edge's theme from Guilty... Not, not Guilty Gear. Uh, Ragnar the Blood Edge from uh, Blaze Blue Calamity Trigger. Is that your final answer, sir? As final as it's going to be, because, like, yeah, I, I, at, at, at the very least, I'm confident this is Blaze Blue. Well, your confidence is in vain, I'm afraid. This is Guilty Gear 2 Overture. What? It's Guilty Gear? Uh, this song is the recoming. It is the Soul vs. Kai theme. Ah, oh, This damn. is what plays when they fight. Oh, so we man. have our first, our first dump for the evening. Damn. I, I guess, like, it makes sense because, like, they have, like, similar, like, you know, ideals when it comes to music. I could have sworn this. This sounds very Blaze Blue. I mean, you're right that it is in Arc System Works. Yeah. So I guess I can't fault myself too much for that one. Yeah, I'm not too familiar with this one, admittedly. You were on the right track, but the wrong train. Mm -hmm. Admittedly, like, I'm not as familiar with Guilty Gear as I should be. I started with x -Hard. And I and like a lot of my experience with Exard um, is going to my friend's house and playing uh, fighting games with him. So I never actually did any of the story modes or anything like that. I didn't actually start doing that until I until I got into Guilty Gear Strive. So yeah, that would explain why I haven't heard this. Uh, Trey in the chat says um, only got three right, which were the fir first three songs. Yeah, we we ball hard here. Yep. Well, um, I'm going to... Con who submitted that one? Uh, that one was Remnant Bardock. Congratulations on getting the first complete stump. Damn, I should have well, went, went with my initial gut and said Guilty Gear. Let's see if we can do two in a row here. Uh, this one comes from Tanuki Player. Here we go. Number 26. Hmm. Hi, by the way, Robin. I, I saw you in the chat. We got some people guessing it. Uh, Hero Chaos Chow got it. Destiny Dragon Gino got it. Esarge got it. Uh, Joel Yoshi Cool got it. Uh, Jalari, you got the game. Hi, by the way, why Jalari. I don't I... know if I said hi to you. Why have I heard this before? 
trying to think of what games have a soundtrack like this. Hmm. Um, this is one where I definitely think you're gonna more have to feel for what it sounds like than you're gonna recognize from from the game itself. You're gonna have to sleuth this one out a little bit. I think I know the game. Okay. I'm trying to think I'm trying to think of what the title is though. Give me a bit here. Okay, take your time. Uh, it is a let good me song. Guys... It is a good song though. Yeah, isn't it? Um let me just remind you guys while Oscar is thinking, uh, that if you're not already, please uh, subscribe to Green Scorpion64 on YouTube. You can also subscribe to me, Comic Foil, on YouTube. Um we got a Pokemon Nuzlocke on my channel going on right now, and also soon coming up is Steam Sember starting in September. Also, this entire stream will be put onto YouTube for you to watch at your leisure. Good thing Oscar has his headphones on, otherwise there'd be a lot of steam coming out of his ears. <sighs> yeah, I don't have a handle on the title of this. Honestly, I don't know... I don't even know where it plays, but I think I know the game. This is The World Ends With You, isn't it? It is from The World Ends With You, you're right on that. Okay, I'm gonna guess the first game. I don't know the title, though. I'm not I'm not as familiar with The World Ends With You and how that game plays. You're, you're, you're more familiar with that one than I am. Um, really recommend this game, by the way. So I'm gonna... So I'm gonna go ahead and give you two points, and here's why. Yeah. Um, you're wrong on the specific game. This comes from Neo, actually, the second game. Oh, really? Neo, well, The World well, Ends With You. Well, then that explains it, because I actually haven't played Neo yet. Uh, but all the songs in that kind of play on a playlist, like... Like, songs just kind of cycle in that game. Okay. So because it doesn't play at a certain specific place, I don't know if you really could have picked, like, the context of the song. The Fair context enough, could be any actually. Time. Okay, okay. So I'm going to give you two points for that, for getting to a song from The World Ends With You, but you did okay. not guess the correct game. Gotcha. All right, th I'll accept that. Especially because, like, again, I kind, I kind of had to, like, remind myself, where have I heard this specific style. Yeah, good, and, good and job, I, uh, Sherlock Holmes, Holmes in your way to it, though. That, that's kind, that's kind of what I do with these, uh, guess the, guess that music track. <laughs> All right, the, I'm ready for the next one. Uh, the way the music works in World Ends with You, there's a bunch of battle themes and there's a bunch of, um, like overworld themes, and the overworld themes just kind of play on shuffle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's kind of like, kind of like you're going through a playlist. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, this one comes to us from Sean. Just oh. Sean. All right. Just Sean. Let's see what you got. Got to let it build up a little bit. Um, Destiny, Destiny Dragon Gino asked before. Um, yes, you also submitted a song from Neo, and I have it in my pile of songs, but I wasn't going to do two songs from Neo, sorry. <laughs> oh, yeah, we're getting a lot of people guessing it right. Um, uh, Unlucky got it. Mm -hmm. The Crocodile got it. Yeah, I Super think Super Magnemite got it. I'm I am only like maybe eighty to ninety percent sure on this one, but I'm feeling pretty confident. This is the Lake Trio Cave from Platinum, or like Generation Four, basically. Uh, you got it on the head, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, Lake Caverns, as it is called, but gotcha. yes, that is the song. Yeah, I I just remember them as like you know the cave of the Lake Trio. Yeah. All right, that was pretty easy. All right, good job. 
Uh, we got two more here in intermediate mode. All right. Lay them on, lay them on me. Okay, and this one comes to us from Phantom Tenebrae. I almost accidentally named, uh, read the name of the game instead of the person who submitted it. That would have been really bad. Uh, Arsene, I'm sorry, you are late. Uh, we are almost through with intermediate mode here. Uh, Oscar is doing pretty well with 49 points out of a possible 54 so far. Uh, unlucky, you got it. I had to remind myself what the title was, but... Is it that one? Well, remember what happens when you don't go with your gut, Oscar. Sure enough. Um, yeah, I know for a fact that this is Bravely Default. Um, it that it is Bravely Default. Okay, it's, uh, I think the title of the song is That Person's Name Is. It's the main boss theme from Bravely Default. You got it, man. Nice! Is this the main boss theme? I actually haven't played Bravely Default. Mm-hmm. Um, but I know it is a boss theme. Um, it's actually the main one. There are a few, there are a couple special ones that play during certain bosses, but this is, like, the main one that happens at the end of, like, every particular, like, major plot point. Okay. Though, if you want one, that, if, if you want a battle theme that, like, goes super freaking heavy, there's one that plays, like, near the end that is absolutely insanely, like, I think it's called, um, Wicked Something. I don't remember the title, but it's a really, really good, it's a really, really good track. Break, like, for, for as much as I have a complicated relationship with, uh, with, uh, Bravely Default, um, the music is fantastic. I, uh, Wicked Fairy, I think, or is it Wicked Flight? Wicked, Wicked Flight. Flight, that's it. Yeah, w Wicked Flight is a real, is a real banger of a boss theme. Uh, Scars McLovin tells you, uh, posture check 100 bits. Thank you. <sighs> and, uh, Moon Angel Fire says, stay hydrated, kids. Yes. I'm on it. Um, debate going on in the stream. If you want to weigh in on this, um, I guess uh, there was a guest for Xenoblade, and they're talking about strings used. Um, does Xenoblade music really use strings much? As far as you know, does it use it as much as Bravely Default? Both of them use them in equal measure, maybe in a different way, but um, you can definitely uh, like both soundtracks definitely use a lot of orchestral motifs um both soundtracks use a lot of like strings a lot of piano a lot of um a lot of like orchestral instruments um as a matter of fact you can like for example this battle theme you've noticed it like immediately that was the main instrument it yeah. was also the main instrument of one of the most famous tracks from xenoblade chronicles gower plains oh yeah that's the really yeah ju just listen to gower plains and that'll tell you everything you need to know about how Xenoblade Chronicles does its soundtracks. Well, there's a lot of electric guitar in Xenoblade Chronicles, I know that. Yeah, they definitely they definitely have, like, a, uh... Xenoblade Chronicles, I will say, has, a, like, more of a dichotomy, where, like, during high-octane situations, they use, like, particularly during battles, they use a lot of electric guitars. During the much more cinematic and or environmental aspects, they use a lot of orchestra. Yeah. All right. Ready for the next one. All right. Um, last one for intermediate mode, and this one comes from Unbind All. Uh, technically, piano is a string instrument. Yeah, but it's categorized oh, wait, as no, percussion for some reason. Yeah, no, I said that backwards. Technically, it's percussion because the sound is made by mallets hitting the strings. Yeah, it, it should be. It should be... Uh... A stringed instrument. Tech it, 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 piano's, a, it, piano's a unique beast. Like, what do you call it, a harpsichord, too? Um, it, it's like it's like you're playing a xylophone, but the keys are strings. That's a piano. Mm -hmm. um, speaking of which, I believe this is um, King of Fighters. I it, don't know the character's name. I don't know which character it's associated with, though. I... What? You're right that it's King of Fighters, and you're right that it belongs to a specific character. Yeah, 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 because I remember this playing... Like, like, the way... So, King of Fighters has an interesting uh, philosophy when it comes to the music, because, like, a lot of the stage themes have a much more jazzy 
uh, aspect. They incorporate a lot of jazz, a lot of swing, a lot of blues, a lot of like a lot more um, high, oct a lot more like high spirit themes. Whereas their character themes are a lot more high octane and like sort of like heavy hitting, like this one. It's an interesting dichotomy that one. Um, except that, uh, unless you're dealing with some of the other, um, I actually, no, it depends. I know for a fact that this is, this song belongs to a male character, because a lot of the female character, uh, themes have a much more, I want to say, elegant theme associated with them. Don't get me started with Splendid Soldier. Um, as for this one, jeez, I don't know who it belongs to. I know it's not Iori, I know it's not Kyo. Uh, I'm trying to go through the list. It's definitely not Geese. Because this isn't soy sauce for geese. Um, trying to think. Team leaders. It's not. Yeah, again, it's not a Yori, so it's not. Hmm. Uh, Joel got it. Uh, K Dog got it. I think a little while. Wait a minute. Back. Is this K Dash? Oscar, this is K Dash's team. <laughs> Dude, when you said K Dog, I was like, wait a second! I was not trying to. <laughs> when you said K Dog, I was like, wait a second, is this K Dash? <laughs> I, I call for a mistrial. <laughs> okay, yeah, no, I'm, I'm going with this one. As we say in the fighting game community, we take those. Yeah, K Dash is theme for King of Fighters. <laughs> yeah, this is a. Uh... Uh, do, you want to, do you want to take a shot at which King of Fighters game it is? Um. God, I have no freaking clue. Um, I'm gonna say King of Fighters 14. No, nah, it's King of Fighters 9. Uh, yeah, no, I wouldn't have gotten that one. That, that, like... You're so close. I'm gonna give you the three points. You sure? Yeah, I already, I already gave you the three points. Okay, sure, I'll take it. <laughs> a lot of people are yelling at me in the, in the comments. <laughs> uh, yeah, K dash, which is spelled K and then an apostrophe. It's weird. It's really weird. Like, uh, uh, again, like we talked about this in Top 10 Edge Lord. It's purely just for the edge. Yeah, he's the Shadow the Hedgehog of Pretty much. King of Fighters. Pretty much Shadow the Hedgehog with fire powers. So that gives you 55 out of 60 at the end of uh, intermediate mode. I did not let it slip. I did, I wasn't talking about the character. I was saying <laughs> someone else's name. It's not my fault that his name sounded like the character's name. <laughs> oh, man. That's funny. That's really funny. All, All right. right. Let's uh, ease into hard mode here. All right, cool. With uh, track number 31. Um, for you, it's actually 21. Yeah. I gotcha. Or 31. This is your 21, 21st question. Oh, I see. Your, your 21th. Uh, this came from Prankster. Nice. Good choice here, by the way. I just gotta suss out the specific one, because... <laughs> K-Dog, don't you LOL at me, this is your fault. <laughs> it was a little low, I had to turn it up. Uh, Shadow Dragon, got it. Yeah, no, this, I, I think I know this one. Yeah, okay. Um, Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak. This is Astalos. You got it, man. Dude, yeah. But, it, fun fact, actually. Um, so I I fought Astalos previously in, uh, in uh, Monster Hunter Generations Ultimate. They fucking buffed him in Rise Sunbreak. <laughs> like, holy smoke, the dude is insane. That being... You get a... Oh, sorry, go on. No, go ahead, go ahead. We got got a lot of submissions of Monster Trump Monster Hunter uh, songs this time around. Hey, I'm gonna have fun with that. Maybe not to foreshadow anything or whatever, but um Oh, that wasn't a hint. That was our last, I believe. Oh, okay. But 
Then I can say then I can say this like what I was saying before. They buffed the heck out of Astalos, but one monster the one monster that threw me off guard when I was playing through Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak is freaking Espinas. And anyone who's played through Sunbreak and wasn't prepared for that monster, you know exactly what I'm talking about. All right, I'm ready for the next one. All right, you're at a uh, 58 out of 63 points. Sweet. Uh, Get over here! This one comes from the very, uh, the one and only Josh Scorcher. Really? Josh submitted one? Yeah. Awesome. Let's hear it. Now, don't be lulled into a fa false sense of security from that first hard mode one. We're going to ramp up here. I appreciate the fact that he chose a metal theme. Oh, of course. He, he has a brand up, old. Um, uh, funny thing is, I don't know what this is from. Uh, All right, I, I, I don't, I don't entirely recognize this one. Sharona the Wind, thank you very much for the sub. Hmm. Okay, it's kind of repeating the same measures. Uh, nobody in the chat has it so far either. See, because my initial thought, like, again, this might be cheating because it's Josh. My initial thought is, like, Dynasty Warriors, but this is way too heavy metal for Dynasty Warriors. I mean, I don't think it would be wrong to try and think of what kind of songs Josh would submit. Yeah. But but no, it is not Dynasty Warriors. Okay, so you're eliminating that at the very least. I, I will, I'll eliminate that one for you. Huh. Another thought I'm thinking might be Devil May Cry. Uh, Hunter versus Red Spine, good guess, but no. Cubican, nice guess, but no. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure of this one. Uh, Stage 5 JD, good guess, but no. Palm Tree, no. Moon Angel Fire, no. All good guesses. Yeah, I'm oh, yeah. I'm kind of stumped on this one. Don't worry, uh, Strem is also stumped. Apparently. Um, okay. I unfortunately might have to take the L on this one, but I'm gonna take a wild guess. Alright. I'm going to I'm going to take a wild guess and say this is DMC Devil May Cry. That's a pretty much all I got. That was a valiant effort, but no. All right, what do we got here? Uh, this is from Gauntlet Dark Legacy, your worst <laughs> nightmare, the uh, Dream World oh, level from Gauntlet. Oh my god! Okay, I hear it now. I didn't even consider Gauntlet. Wow, I- okay. Yeah, no, now that, now that you mentioned Gauntlet, I'm thinking back to the soundtrack and- oh my god, yeah. Holy crap. This is Gaunt- wow. Yep. I should I should have thought of Gauntlet Dark Legacy. Wow, good one. Okay. This was this was a really good submission because it's so close to guessable and it's just not. Mm -hmm. No, you know what? I can see to that one. That was good. That was good. All right, awesome. Uh, fun fact, actually. Um, a little while ago, um, so there's this local arcade, um, uh, slash like a uh, video game like thrift store. Uh, downtown where I live, right? They have this whole arcade in the back, and one of the machines they had was Gauntlet Legends. Um, I actually went on a double date there with uh, Amber, as well as uh, Sheikah and her husband, and we basically just spent like an hour playing Gauntlet Legends. It was awesome. It's a great game. It is a good game. It is a very good game. Classic, classic uh, Dungeons & Dragons, like, dungeon crawler, like, arcade game. 
Uh, I I would love to play Gauntlet, Gauntlet again. So this next one is from Super Sonic Chow again. All right, here we go. I'm going to say this one is also kind of tricky. Um, you're going to want to listen to it for a little while. Hmm. I have some initial thoughts, but yeah, I don't think I recognize this one either. You're going to want to try and... Uh, this is another one that you might need to like work backwards to figure it out. Uh, no correct guesses in the chat yet. Tanuki player, sorry, no. Super Magnemite, good guess, but no. Um, unlucky, you're on the right track. I mean, unlucky, you're technically right. Uh, Russ is with us, also technically right. Wait a second, I recognize that melody. I hoped you would. Uh, Blade Charge, you're on the right track. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Uh, BP3500, got it. Good job. Yeah, it's hard for a reason. Yep, BP is right. Minion of the East also got it. Um. Yeah, I recognize this, but I don't remember where. Ah, this is killing me. Yeah, this one was pretty evil. Because I recognize the melody, but I can't... I don't know where it's from. Uh... You, you would have to get the mem the melody... This also isn't the way you usually hear this melody, so you'd have to figure out what the melody is, and then try and figure out why it was different and what this was being used in. Wait a minute. Yeah? Isn't this from Final Fantasy IX? <laughs> Turning uh, British there for a second, but uh... Like, okay, yeah. here, here's the thing, here's the thing. I recognize this melody, and I yeah. know it's from Final Fantasy IX. I don't exactly remember what the title is, and it's not this. <laughs> yeah, um, you're on, the, you're on the right track, yeah. Is this from Final Fantasy IX? I mean, the melody is. Uh, <clears throat> Ah, uh, you, you got me on this one. At least I know it's Final Fantasy. Yeah, I recognize the melody. Yeah, this is fucking... Uh, I don't remember. I, I know the song. I know the song, but... So, I'm going to give you one point, because you got the franchise. Yeah, I, I'm going to take um, the L on this one, because I have no fucking clue. Uh... Is this, like, for, like... Is this, like, for a Final Fantasy, like spin-off game or something yes uh so this is the melody is the overworld theme uh memories of life that's it from final fantasy 9 this is the alexandria track in chocobo gp <laughs> you've got to be shitting me i am not shitting <laughs> fucking yeah i never played chocobo racing Welcome to hard mode, motherfucker. Okay, Jesus. <laughs> I'm gonna need a beer after this one. <laughs> Good lord. No, 
Yeah, no, good job. Good job. You got you got as close to it as I could have possibly I, I, expected I, I, you I, to. I at least like recognize the overworld like melody. I knew I heard that from somewhere. All things considered, that was pretty good. Okay, well then. <laughs> Oh, that was good. That was good. That was a good curveball, Supersonic Chow. Yeah, that was good. I'm, I'm gonna. I'm not gonna lie. That threw me. That threw me there. All right. Next one. Number thirty-five comes from our good friend Mech Assault Man. All right. Here we go. Ooh. Well, I can see you're jamming with it. Do uh, you feel like you recognize it? I think I do, but I I need to hear it for a moment. Okay. Uh, Blossom, no, good guess. Russ is us. Josh, the Night Fury, also no guess. Boppet, a lot of people are guessing one specific thing, which it is not. Uh, Shika, yeah, you got the right uh, franchise. Okay, I thought maybe it might be coming from uh, one particular franchise. Like my, my immediate thought, my immediate thought went to Sonic. Um, but no, nah, this is not Sonic. The immediate thought of Strem also went to Sonic. Actually, really, There's a lot of guesses for Sonic. But I can confirm it is not Sonic. Okay, so you're gonna uh, you're gonna pull out that one. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, no, I'm not sussing this one out. I'm gonna cheat a little bit here. Knowing Mech Assault Man, I'm gonna take a wild guess and say this is dead or alive. I don't know the game. I don't know what track, unfortunately, but. I'm at least going to try and guess the franchise and it's dead or alive. Knowing Mech Assault Man. Okay, if I told you that it was a character's theme, could you guess at a character? Okay. If we're going if we're still on the dead or alive track, here listening to this. Wildest of guesses here. Tina's theme. Uh, do you want to guess a specific... Uh, I mean, it's the same song throughout multiple uh, things. I don't know. Um, do you want to guess at which installment? Dead or Alive... Sure, Dead or Alive 6. I'm going to go ahead and give you two points, because it is from Dead or Alive 3, and it is Tina Armstrong's theme. Woo! Because <laughs> I heard, like, I heard the female vocals... And I was like, you know, oh, this would definitely be like, oh yeah, Tina, she's coming out, she's like showing off, she's a wrestler, she wants to like show off for the crowd and everything. And yeah. I was like, yeah, like. And also, it, Tina, Tina is Mega Tina is also Mega Salt's main. Yeah. So hey, Mac, I got you, bro. <laughs> All right, this next one is coming from Shadow Mage. All right. And in case anyone is curious, my mains are Bayman and Zack and uh, Helena in uh, Dead or Alive. All right, we ready? Yep. Uh, this one also takes a second to rev up. All right, who is subbing at this one? Uh, this one came from Shadow Mage. Got it. Oh, hi, Shadow Mage. I just saw you in chat. Here we go, indeed. My criteria for hard mode is I pick songs that I think are going to be hard, but I know you have some connection to it, either the game or, like, you would know someone who knows the game or something. That's the difference between hard and impossible for me. Well, I'm going to say this one at the very least. If I'm hearing this right and, like, listening to the motifs, I'm going to guess that 
Overconfidence can be a slow and insidious killer. It sure can. This is Darkest Dungeon. It is Darkest Dungeon. Which one, though? I'm going to guess this is uh, the actual Darkest Dungeon. Darkest Dungeon 1? Yes. Well, okay. like Darkest Dungeon, but it's the Darkest Dungeon. Oh, you're guessing it's in the Darkest Dungeon. In the level. No, 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 no. Hang on a sec. I'm hearing that. I recognize those horns. Uh, Blossom asked, there's a sequel? Uh, yes, but it is in uh, early access right now. But there is a Darkest Dungeon 2 being developed. This plays during a boss fight. Does it now? I, I, it's a battle theme, I can tell you that much right now. Yeah, I think this plays like, I think this is the battle theme for the Darkest Dungeon. Is that your final answer? No. Remember, Oscar, prodigious size alone does not dissuade the sharpened blade. Many fall in the face of chaos, but not this one. I love I, Darkest Dungeon. I, I, I don't I know think if I, you guys can tell. I think I got it. My final answer. This, okay. is the this is a battle theme from Darkest Dungeon for the farmstead. Is that your final answer? Yes. Um, You were closer before. This is the final boss of Darkest Dungeon. Got it, got it. All right, I should have stuck to my guns. I probably wouldn't have, I probably wouldn't have given it to you for that either, but... Um, yeah, no, like, I should have guessed the final boss. the heart, Like, the Heart of Darkness? Or, like, the Heart of the World? Yeah, uh, uh, the name of the song is The Final Combat. Got you, okay. I, like, as soon as I heard, like, those very, like, distorted, like, low bass instruments playing, and then the horns kicked in, I was like, yeah, this is Darkest Dungeon. And it's a, and, and it's got, like, the march that all of its battle themes have, you know? Mm -hmm. Dude, it sounds like a death march. Dude, if you can, if you can, like, whenever you get a chance, take a listen to some of the soundtracks, uh, some of the songs that they did for Darkest Dungeon 2. The sluice battle theme is fantastic. Alright, I'm ready for the next one. That was good. That was a good submission. Law of Darkest Dungeon. Injury and despondence set the stage for heroism or cowardice. Our next one, um, I need number 38 here. Real quick, by the way, like, one of my favorite quotes from The Ancestor, mainly because I just find it really funny. A monster's size has no intrinsic merit. Unless inordinate insanguination be considered a virtue. And I'm my just, favorite. And I'm just like, yeah, the, the, the ancestors are basically just calling him fat. <laughs> uh, my favorite that I quote a lot is, is a... Oh, dang it. Can't think of it now. Oh, pfft. oh, no, I can't think of what the one word is. A, a fleeting victory, but a victory nonetheless. Oh, oh, a trifling victory. Trifling victory, but yeah. a victory nonetheless. A trifling victory, but a victory nonetheless, yeah. All right. All right. Ready? Number, 30, number 38 here is from the Roman Vulcan. Here we go. Could not sound any less like the previous song. <laughs> Uh, Red Bird, got it. Unbind All, got it. Tanuki Player, you got the right, uh, you got the right game. 24 Hour Prince, you got it. Okay, I actually, rem I actually recognize this. Um. Yeah, I, this is Penny's theme from WarioWare, isn't it? It, it is. <laughs> I remember this. I love this song. It, it, it is a bop. Like, this one's fun. 
I was like, uh, I, like it, it took me a moment, and I was like, wait a second, I remember this now. Do you know what warrior wear? Um, no, because like I remember hearing this because you showed it to me a little while ago. Do you remember what I was playing? Um. Uh. What what was the one that you were what was the one that we were playing the other day? I mean, uh, I'm not gonna tell you because that's the answer. WarioWare switched. It, it's the one for the Switch. Good enough. Yeah, it is the most recent one. It is WarioWare Get It Together for the Switch. That's it. Mm -hmm. I'll take it. Okay, there you go. What I really like about this one is that the stage that it plays on. So. It gives you this stage when it gives you Penny, because Penny's the most complex character. Yeah. And you know how Wario where games get like faster and faster and oh, stuff. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Um in, in this one, each micro game is perfectly timed to the music. Ooh, I like that. It's really nice. And and it like distorts for a second every time you lose, it's a great level. Oh, that's great. Um, so when Roman Vulcan submitted this one, I got very excited. Sweet. Yeah, I, re I remember. I, I remember hearing this when you and I were playing uh, uh, Warrior Wars uh, Switch. Get it together. Yeah. Oh, it's get it together. Okay, got it. Um, yeah, I remember you and I were playing that, and like I remember, uh, I remember hearing this, and I also like looked up a few other things after we played it that day. Yeah, this is fun. Uh -huh. This is a fun theme. Rogue Mage Gamer said, "Get it together, Oscar." <laughs> but I thought that was funny. All right. Um, so, ready for the next one. Yep, this one comes from Alice Walton, uh, number 40. All right, here we go. Mystery track 40. You're doing really well here. 66 out of 78. Hot damn, uh, nice. No one can fault you. Okay, this is definitely an older one. Uh, Esarge, you got the game right. Uh, so far, Esarge is the only person in the comments to get it right. Uh, good guess, Eric Riddick. Good guess, Spot Ben. Good guess, Nightmare I'm, Frame. I'm getting Sega vibes from this. Uh, Simidon, you're close. You're really close. You're a little off. Arsene, you're also close, but you're a little off. I am unfamiliar with this one, actually, but I'm getting Sega vibes here. Action production, um, you're, you got it, and you also phrased it in the form of a question, so... I'm giving you 35 Trebek points. Oh man, I'm trying to, I'm trying to put it, I'm trying to pin it down, but... Okay, so I'm getting fantasy vibes, getting boss fight vibes, or like battle vibes here. Th this is definitely a lot of, this is definitely very, very Sega. Freaking, what was that one game? It was a tactics game. Um, freaking... I'm trying to remember the name of the... What was that one tactics game? Uh, that was a lot like Fire Emblem. Fucking, what's his face? Domingo, wasn't it? You're thinking of Shining Force. Shining Force, thank you. Um... Yeah, Shining Force. Wait, 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 wait. I... No, actually, it's not Shining Force because that game has a lot more calm themes because it's a map. Uh, I'm getting, I'm getting, yeah, I'm getting Sega vibes from this, but I don't know the. Hmm. I'm going to take a wild Shining guess. Shining Force is also a lot older sounding. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Just to let you know. Okay, I. That's true. Okay, I'm going to take a wild freaking guess here. Is this Gunstar Heroes? Is that your final get uh, final answer? Yeah, that's the best I got. I'm gonna say like maybe the final boss from Gunstar Heroes. I'm sorry, you're completely off. Mm. Uh, this is the final boss of Golden Sun. Oh! Oh man, why did I think of Golden Sun? Damn it! A lot of people don't think of Golden Sun. Yeah, fair enough. I was at least on the right track with like you know older Sega Sega era uh, vibes here. Oh, action production! You're actually guess what? Oh, so were you actually 
asking Action Production, what is Golden Sun? Uh, Golden Sun was a uh, Nintendo first party title for the Game Boy Advance. Uh, there was a sequel called Golden Sun The Lost Age, also on the Game Boy Advance, and then there was another sequel on the DS, Golden Sun Dark Dawn. There you go. Um, oh, but actually, Tanuki Player, I forgot this, actually. Thank you for reminding me. Um, Shining Force was made by the same team as Golden Sun, so actually, you kind of, you were kind of, you kind of had something there, Oscar. Ah, damn it. All right, well, I was, I, I was getting somewhere there, but unfortunately, I was off. And yeah, that's right, Golden Sun was on the GBA. It's been too long since I played Golden Sun, man. Well, I don't know if you have much hope for this one either, but uh, this one, number 42, comes from Monsoon Zeta Flake. All right, here we go. I'm actually not the hugest fan of Golden Sun, personally. I kind of wish I played it when it first came out. I'd probably like it more. Um, I played it late, later on the Wii U release, and I wasn't, like, super impressed. Oh, this is beautiful. Uh, Palm Tree, good guess, but no. This is, definitely, uh, this is definitely a more modern uh, song. Yeah. Super Magnemite, good guess, but no. Moon Angel Fire, good guess, but no. Uh, Blossom, good guess, but no. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I'm definitely getting JRPG vibes from this. I like this game. I don't think you've ever played it, though, Oscar. Huh. I might have to take a wild guess here then, because I honestly don't know. Um, if it's a game that I that you don't think I've played before, then yeah, I'm gonna have to like maybe go into some uncharted territory here for like just to try and take a stab at it. Yeah, definitely high fantasy. Definitely, um, definitely um, grandiose. E Sarge, you got it. Good job. Especially this part. This is fantastic. Hmm. Yeah, I got nothing on this one, so I'm gonna take a wild guess. I'm gonna say, considering the length and the vibe, uh, there was this really obscure, um... I don't know if I, I don't know how obscure I should go with this, but what was you, you know what this gives will get you know what vibes this gives me? What was that storybook style RPG for the Wii? Nino Kuni? No, not Nino Kuni. It was like the Last Hope or something. Oh, um, uh, the Last Story. That's it. I'm gonna take a I'm gonna take a wild shot shot in the dark here. I'm gonna say the Last Story title theme. Um. That was as good a guess as any. Um, you're going to be pretty surprised what this is from. But this is the main theme of the indie game Owl Boy. It's what? Uh, do you know what Owl Boy is? Yeah, I, dude, you played it for Steam Sember. Exactly. This is this is the music it has. Oh, dude, this is gorgeous for Owl Boy. Yeah, dude. Wow. You're gonna get. You're gonna have me listening to the goddamn soundtrack now. This is gorgeous. It is a great soundtrack. Wow. Oh wow. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna have to listen to the soundtrack of this game. Maybe even. I recommend it. It's a. Wow. It's an indie. Um. Platform, sort of. Right? Uh, sort of Metroidvania. It's not. It's not fair to call it a platformer because you can fly at all times in it. But. It's got kind of Metroidvania vibes. Okay, yeah, I'll have to um, check it out, especially if like that's like the the, the main theme for it. Woo! That if is you like beautiful. If you like Shantae, I think there's a good chance you'll like Owlboy. Okay, I'll have to pick that up later. Cool. All right, yeah, good one. That was that was a really good suggestion. Oh my god, I got another soundtrack to listen to. 
See, this is what this is another part that I love about doing these is that like you give me like these tracks that like and remind me or like introduce me to things that I'm like like didn't like necessarily like consider. And then I'm like, oh my god, I gotta go listen to these again. Dude, I listened to Titania's theme from like Final Fantasy XIV that last time you played it, and I was like, oh my god, this is insanely good. Yeah. Yeah, that is a good one. Mm-hmm. Alright. Um, I'm ready for this next one. This one is coming to us from Lucas Blom. Alright. You've had a few misses in a row now, but I think you might have a shot at this one. Yep, I know this one. Uh, Simadon got it. Destiny Dragon Geno got it. Well, they're getting the they're getting the uh, game. Dude, I love the syncopation of this one. Okay, well, considering uh, that we've had a few misses, I'm gonna go just going to go ahead and go in on this one. This is Decisive Battle Two from Octopath Traveler. You got it, man. Yeah, that, that's the thing, though. It's like, it's not enough to say boss theme, because Octopath Traveler has, like, three variations on boss themes. Yeah. Like, there's actually, Decisive... Well, oh. actually, it's Decisive Battle 1, but oh, I would have given the first it to Decisive... Yeah, but I would have given it to Decisive Battle anyway, so I'm gonna call that three points. All right, then. Yeah, because I, if I recall correctly, there are three Decisive Battle themes. Yeah. No, no there's Decisive Battle 1, Decisive Battle 2, but then the last one is, like specifically for the characters themselves because all all eight of the characters have a boss theme that kind of like has like that really really cool intro to the main boss theme and it's yeah. like like Alphins is for sucker um Ulbricks I think is like for honor and then like it that. Like, and, and yeah and all their themes can be rolled into the boss theme which Hon is really cool honestly I think that's one of the coolest uh, musical decisions that they made with that cuz like that really Gives That's a lot of variety to about like, that game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, like Octopath Traveler is an interesting piece. Like they did a lot of things right, but they also did a lot of things that not so right. But it's still a good time, in my opinion. It's definitely memorable enough that people still remember it even to this day. Yeah. So I'm I'm gonna give I'm gonna give Square Enix credit for that one at the very least. And yeah, the the, the music slaps. Like it kind of I kind of like categorize it in the same vein as Bravely Default, where. You can say all this crap you want about the game, like, say what it did right, say what it did wrong. One thing it definitely did right is the goddamn music. Like, dude, the, when the piano comes in with this, like, really chill segment while still being hard-hitting, fantastic! Well, we have one more for the difficult category. Alright then. And that it comes to us from Colton Baxter, whenever that, you're ready. Yep, that one popped me up. I'm, like, I'm getting a little more, like, here we go. Win a pay the front line, take the don'ts. He's coming out again for a new point. Get your bets on, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Four fours to point, mark four. Ace two scrap, mark four. Ace two scrap, mark four. Uh, I'm lucky got it right away. I'm going to bring that down a bit. Oh, I'm sorry. Is this one? I guess this one is louder than some of the other ones. Just a little bit. Okay, I actually remember this one. Um. Ah, I don't know the title, but I know this is Jet Set Radio. Got, you got the series, man. Woo! I don't know the freaking title of this song, though. All I know is, like, I'm gonna guess it's one of the level themes, but all I know is that it's the first Jet Set Radio. I'm gonna give it to you for the level theme, because, like, um... Like the world ends with you. Yeah, it cycles. Song just kind of, tr just kind of cycle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, like, I, I, I think I remember that was the situation. So, yeah, this is like basically one of the level themes from um, Jet Set Radio. I don't know the title for the life of me though. This song is called Funky Dealer. It is from Jet Set Radio Future. So actually, I'm only going to give you two points. Oh, it's from but... Jet Set Radio Future. Yes. Oh. Why Which did I think is, it was from um, the first Jet Set Radio? It's from Jet Set, Fu uh, Jet Set Radio Future, which it has been locked onto the original Xbox since its release, which is a great injustice. Aww, damn. Somebody please re-release Jet Set Radio Future on PC or something. Yeah, then I definitely heard this from somewhere. I just remember it was from Jet Set Radio. Microsoft, nobody has an original Xbox. Yeah, seriously. Especially because, like... 
Yeah, I remember, like, listening to a lot of the soundtrack of Jet Set Radio when I played that game, and then, like, I was reminded of it later, and then I was like, oh, yeah, this is really cool. You know? If, if you want a good funk, like, funk soundtrack, listen to Jet Set Radio, man. Yeah, that's... This is one where, like, it's a great soundtrack completely separate from the game itself that you can just... You can not even know that this is from a game, and you can be like, oh, yeah, this is good music. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, oh, Blade Charge says they have an OG Xbox. Well, Blade Charge, if you ever want to sell it, <laughs> I would like one. Ah, well, there you go. Yeah, for those All right. of, yeah, for those of you who want to be introduced to Jet Set Radio, it is on Steam. Yep. Uh, now, if we can get Jet Set Radio Future, that'd be fantastic. Yeah, that'd be great. I don't know what happened that they don't want to re-release it. I don't, I don't know, know if there's, like, a copyright problem. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I heard from a lot of people that, like, uh, they uh, were introduced to Jet Set Radio because they played it on Steam. Um, because, like, you know, it's really, really hard to get the original Dreamcast one. Well, Oscar, we have arrived at nightmare mode you oh, have boy. seven 71 points out of a possible 90 so far and honestly i don't know how likely it is that you get a single point from this but you have already the 71 that's pretty good try your okay. best this first one is from brendan reed all right here we go Bot Ben, 49 out of 90. Not bad. Th th this game is hard. Uh, Destiny Dragon Geno got it right away. So did Simidon. I don't know how. Hmm. This is nice. Um, I don't recognize it though. This is definitely giving me fantasy vibes. Very environment, like very like atmospheric, very beautiful. But I do not recognize it. Um, I am going to take a wild guess here. Considering recency, considering recency, like, I know, like you said, Nightmare Mode, so I could be totally off the ball on this one. I'm going to guess this is from Xenoblade Chronicles 3? Because this is giving me Xenoblade vibes. Is that your final answer? Um, as best as it's going to be. <laughs> uh, no, I'm afraid not. Okay, what do we got? Uh, this is from Radiant Historia. Ah, Never played Radiant Historia. Me neither. The name of the song is Where the Wind and Feathers Return. It's played for a lot of emotional scenes, including the bad endings of the game. Really? Yep. Huh. Yeah, this, this I, is I for suppose, super... I suppose this is very melancholy, so I can understand that. Yeah, this is for sad times. Oh, wow. Okay. I, I, I had to do one of the Radiant Historia ones because multiple people sent me songs from Radiant Historia. Really? Huh. Yeah, a lot. A lot of people wanted you to guess at. I sh I should. I should. Something from this game. I I should take maybe some time to like maybe go into Radiant Historia because I heard I hear it is a decent time. I yeah, just, we, I, at I, least I, I just the never. Soundtrack, I just, cause... Yeah, I d I just never got around to playing Radiant Historia. Uh, Christian Gordy, if you're out there, you also sent me um a couple of Radiant Historia songs. I didn't end up using them because I wasn't going to subject Oscar to guess this game twice <laughs> fair enough thank you for that um all right i want 47 this one comes from matt mc123 Nuki player, that's a good guess. You could not be further from what it actually is. Uh, Josh the Night Fury, I'm mad at how close you are. This is badass. 
It starts oh, silly, yeah, no, but no, it's I... also kind of like, it also gets like really good. Alchemer got it. Uh, I have no clue. You, you want to know what's weird? Yeah. The kazoo is giving me Rayman vibes. But I don't think Rayman Origins and Rayman Legends followed the same musical motifs as the previous Rayman games, so I don't think this is Rayman. Uh, Bot Band, you got the right game. But that's also the best guess I have. Oh, uh, thank you, Josh Night Fury. Sorry about that. Um, not Josh Night Fury. Josh and Night Fury was actually right on the money. Yeah, I got nothing on this one. I'm just gonna go out on the limb and say this is from Rayman. I have no idea where. Again, that was as good a guess as any. Um, are you ready to be really mad at what this is from? Ah, uh, lay it on me. Uh, this song is called Fight and Flight. It is the boss theme from Angry Birds 2. Since when does Angry Birds have bosses? <laughs> Isn't this too good for Angry Birds? What? This is from Angry Birds? Who went so hard for Angry Birds? Oh my god. Um, it is the boss pig theme. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I never would have gotten that. I, I don't know freaking Angry Birds. I mean, I actually like Angry Birds. It's just I'm, I'm never going to buy an Angry Birds game because it's something I could have on my phone. And Pretty I'm never going to play it on my phone because there's too many ads. Like, Jesus Christ. I, I would never have gotten freaking Angry Birds. Come on. Yeah. Like, I, I will admit that's good. Like, it gets really badass. But yeah, like, honestly, Rayman was my best guess on that one. The, the, the deck is stacked against you here. And, and hey, it, that that's what impossible. That's why it's impossible. Yep. That is not, why it is impossible. Not about to get any better. Uh, this one is from Delta Twenty Seven B. I'm kind of praying to Palatina here that I at least recognize one of these out of pure coincidence. That yeah, I think that should be our goal here is for you to get one. That is you, Delta. Thank you very much for the submission. I thought this I thought this was a good one, actually. I mean, I think... I thought all these are good ones. That's why they made the show, but... This was a particularly neat choice, I think. Uh, action Production, no. Super Magnemite, no. Unlucky, no. Moon Angel Fire, no. Uh, Rogue Mage Gamer, yes! Oh, now, th now the correct answers are coming in. Uh, Unbind All, yes. Nuki player, good guess, no. I'm getting a sort of ocean sea shanty vibe from this. That's the that's the direction I'm kind of getting, like nighttime seafaring. Huh. But yeah, I don't recognize this at all either. Okay, so this is impossible mode, right? My best guess is. Huh. Yeah, I have no clue. I'm gonna guess. I I'm gonna take a while. I'm gonna throw a shot in the dark here. I'm gonna guess. Sea of Thieves. You actually got kind of like the right vibes a little, in a weird way. That's a good guess. Okay. This is from the game Disco Elysium. Excuse me. Re what? And this is a uh, Red Rock Riviera, Day One, Disco Elysium. Uh, yeah, I I have not played Disco Elysium. Uh, so Disco, do you know anything about that game? Not a, not a lot, not a lot. It plays like a Baldur's Gate kind of game, but it's in a more modern setting where your skills are like, and like the ability to like doubt somebody or the ability to question your beliefs or the ability to self-actualize. It's a very like philosophical kind of game. Really? Okay. What's neat? Uh, What's neat about this song is you hear it a lot of times when you're outside in the city um, and you hear that horn that plays that's like the main theme mm -hmm. is that eventually when you get to the harbor area, you can go out on a boat onto an island and you find out that the music is actually diegetic because there's actually a trumpet player hanging out on the island. Oh, who 
trumpets with the sunrise. Oh, that's kind of funny that I actually put that together. So yeah, I'll, so I'll, that's... I'll give myself credit for that one, at least. <laughs> okay, okay, I see it. Oh, I guess this song is actually... Oh, yeah, this one is Instrument of Surrender. Red Rock Riviera is the original song of the... Anyway, it was Disco Elysium. Okay, I'm fine with that. These also become impossible for me to get the full context of them. Yeah, no fooling. But, hey, I I'm getting introduced to some cool tracks here, so I'm, I'm not complaining. Yeah, I'm hoping at least one of these I just recognize just somehow. Well, we can try again with this one from Fantastic Hallam. Whoa. Um, Shadow Dragon, first to get it right. <laughs> Jalari, I thought people would guess that. I am sorry, that is not what it is. Tanuki Player, good guess, no. Bopen, same, good guess, no. Oh, Josh the Night Fury, good guess, but I'm sorry, no. Uh, Delta got it. North got it. Hey, North, I didn't see you here. Good to see you. Moon Angel Fire, good guess, but no. This is pretty good. I like this a lot. No idea what it's from. Um, based on the vibes, because like the the way it started and the way like uh, it kind of like progressing with like kind of a mixture of um, kind of mixture of electronic and uh, like jazz. This is my best guess here, because I have like again. I'm getting Duncan Rumpa vibes. Okay. I know this isn't from Duncan Rumpa one and two. It might be from B three because I haven't finished B three. Why do I want to do a really, really stupid thought here? Okay. Setting the song here. Okay. I'm I'm taking a wild guess here based on the fact that this is impossible mode and people love to screw with me on this one, so I'm gonna right. go I'm gonna go buck wild. I'm going to guess that this is from Dongan Rumpa Ultra Despair Girls. Well I have no idea what the song is though. Is that your final answer? That's the best I got. Oscar, you are very right. So you what? have heard the sounds of Dongan Rampa because this is the same composer. This is the title. This is the title theme for Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth. What? <laughs> same composer as Dongan Rampa. Oh man, see that—that's why I was getting Dongan Rampa vibes, man. A pure evil. It's not my fault. I didn't submit it. Damn it. Okay, that was good. I, I'm, I'm gonna give him credit for that one. That was a good way to throw me off guard. I didn't... Yeah, no, this is so Danganronpa. It, it sounds just like Danganronpa. Yeah, and I was like, you know, maybe it's Ultra Despair Girls because, like, you know, people want to, like, screw with me here. <laughs> I, I can see you getting a little paranoid of, like, why, why would John put this in Impossible if it was just, like, a Danganronpa theme? Exactly! Because, like, I'm at, at the very least, I'm sort of familiar with Danganronpa V3, but I've never played Ultra Despair Girl, so I took yeah. a wild shot. Wow! Yeah, I can definitely tell that this is the same composer, because the same leap motifs, the same instrumentation, the same vibe. Yeah, I see it. Good one. That was a really good one. I'm going to give you credit for that one. Yeah, good one, Fantastic Callum. Uh, Toby Saru, our good friend Jeremy, was not any nicer with his submission. His is number 55, whenever you're ready. Here we go. Huh. Why do I want to say this is from a wrestling game? Hmm. 
I have no clue. Uh, Moonfire Angel, good guess, but no. Uh, Super Magnemite, you're on the right track. I would pretty much give you a point for that. Yeah, I'm getting a... I'm getting a... My, my immediate thought went to wrestling. For some reason. Okay. Huh. I've never played fucking wrestling games, but I don't know why. Like, my immediate thought went to, like, WWE SmackDown or something. You know what? Fuck oh. it. I, I'm, I'm gonna go with my. I'm gonna go with my gut here. I'm gonna say WWE SmackDown. Well, Jeremy is a big wrestling fan. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and give you a point for it. Why? Uh, this is. Wait, are you fucking serious? This is WCW versus NWO Revenge on the N64, the oh opening my, game. Oh my god! So it is from a wrestling game. Yeah, I remember wrestling games being particularly big. On the N sixty four. Fun fact: I had uh, I had the one for the Sega Genesis, and I played that to death when I was a kid. Hot damn! Okay, I did not think I was gonna get that. I don't know. For some reason, my immediate thought went to wrestling. I I mean, good guess. Yeah. It de it does sound like it does sound like a wrestling game. You're right. Yeah. Like the thing is, like this is the kind of music that they would play like during like wrestling matches. So like that, never... that, that was my immediate thought. I've never followed pro wrestling before, so all the wrestling games kind of all run together for me. I don't know what the difference between the WWE and the WCW and the NWO is. Uh, oh, oh, same here. Like, I, I, the only reason I played that one game for the Sega Genesis is because I was a five-year-old who was fascinated by guys, by, like, big sweaty dudes hitting each other, so. But oh, somebody, I'm sorry, somebody used a, uh, a, uh, top three, is that a thing on this channel? Oh, yeah, so, top um, Spontaneous Top 3 is something. Uh, top, Spontaneous Top 3 Wrestlers of All Time. I have no clue, man. I don't follow wrestling. Um, I will say it, I, I will say this at the very least. I used, like, I used to follow The Undertaker. Cool. Absolute classic of ab Absolute classic wrestler. Uh, The Rock, who went to our high school. That's also true, actually. Yeah, I forgot, like, I, for some reason I forgot about The Rock. Uh, Hulk Hogan, Hulkamania. True. Uh, not being... even for his wrestling, but Andre the Giant for being in The Princess Bride. Also for inspiring Hugo from Street Fighter. Yeah. Also, um... Hang on. And his name is John Cena! <laughs> anyway, let's move on. Alright. <laughs> anyway. Um, somebody <laughs> wants to know, do you watch AE? Um, AEW, and if so, who is your favorite wrestler? I don't know what AEW is, but I'm guessing the answer is no. No, I don't. Neither of us watch wrestling. Sorry, I, I, I don't follow wrestling. Unfortunately, My, I have a couple of friends who do, um, and uh, they are definitely huge fans. But I myself don't really follow it. I, I actually more follow boxing than anything else. But even then, not really. I have a lot of respect for wrestling for the like artsmanship of it, the, oh, the like absolutely. performance of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the thing. Is like. Um, I, I like I love how people complain that like oh wrestling's fake and all that jazz and it's like oh like why would anyone watch this and like pe like I find it fascinating that people have to explain to those complainers that that's the point. Yeah, uh, like yes, like, it's fake, but could you do that? Yeah, like one, could you do that? And two, yeah, we know it's fake. We don't care. It's fun to watch. <laughs> They're still lifting other people over their heads. Yeah, th there's a whole technique to the whole thing. Is like, wrestlers like have to go through strict regimens not only to maintain their health, but also to ensure that the stunts that they pull off don't actually do any permanent damage, and there is actual, like, there's actual technique to that. It, like, not, every not anyone can just go up there and do that kind of thing, otherwise you're gonna get hurt. Yeah. Like, it's, it's yeah. actually really fascinating. You still need to be extremely dedicated. Absolutely, absolutely. It, it, it's just like, you know, doing stunts or, like, you know, performing on stage with wires or something. You gotta be trained on that, and if you don't do it properly, you're gonna end up in the hospital bed. Yeah. All right, so, shall we continue? Yep, get back on track, uh, specifically track 56 here. Uh, this one comes from Case Snow 1992 who I think thought their submission was easier than it actually is. All right, let's see. <laughs> My
My immediate thought went to Super Mario RPG, but it, I know it's not. But I'm getting RPG vibes from this. I might want to bring it up a bit. Oh. Hmm. Yeah. Good submission case now. Uh, action production, good guess, but no. Uh, Trey. Uh, an opening. Uh, no. Nope, I Nagawa, no. Uh, Trey, no. Uh, you girl, that's a really good guess, but no. <laughs> Super Magnemite, you're correct, it is from a game. <laughs> I'm getting RPG vibes from this. Like, y you want to know what I'm being reminded of? I'm being reminded of Mario, uh, of us, uh, Mario and Luigi uh, Superstar Saga with this. Huh. A bit. Okay. I, I know it's not from that, but, like, that's the vibe I'm getting. Like, I'm definitely getting RPG vibes. Uh, Trey, sorry, no. Bop Ben, no. Tanuki Player, no. Though I see how that that's a good guess. That is a good guess. I honestly don't know, so I'm going to take a shot in the dark. I'm going to stick with my uh, RPG um thought. Is this Bug Fables? That's a good guess, uh, but no, this okay. is legend. This is Legend of Mana. Ah, uh, okay. So I was on the right track with RPG. Yeah, and especially okay. for like, at one point you said Mario RPG and like Legend of Mana is kind of. I mean, it is a 1999. Yeah, within the same realm. Role playing game. It was on the PlayStation originally, I think. I I don't remember. I've had the yeah, PS One. I've had the briefest experience with Legend of Mana. The reason why I put it in Impossible is I know. I know you've not touched this game at all. Um, um, I actually, I actually have a little bit, but oh, yeah? again, the briefest experience to the point where I don't even remember like playing it much at all. I just remember like I touched it like when I was like visiting a friend's house or something when I was like younger, but after that, I never touched it again. Yeah, it came. It was originally on the PS One, and then recently it was re-released on the Switch. Uh, th this song is. Uh, the Clifftown Gato. Gotcha. I also do recognize Legend of Mana a little bit, at least from mainly cultural osmosis, because I know some other Countdown artists have talked about Legend of Mana to some degree. Yeah, this is one where, like, like I know vaguely what it is, mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. I have never played it. Yeah. All right. Good one. Uh, this next one, number 57... I find it fascinating. I, f I find it fascinating that the one track I actually got points on was a WWE. One. <laughs> yeah, like I think that's pretty game. funny too. Like that—that's hilarious to me. All right, uh, this one is from Jalori, Josh Rose. All right, here we go. I'll tell you this. Uh, Jalori in the email was like, let me start by and start with an easy one and gave me this one. And I was like, there's no way Oscar will know what this is. I'm putting it in impossible. So Jalori, I'm guessing this is something you played a lot. This is good. I don't know what it is. Ooh, really, really good riffs on the electric guitar there. Ooh, good build up. Uh, Tanuki player, good guess, no. What's funny is that my initial thought was Far Cry, but then the like, then the then the like rock themes came in, and I'm like, nah, this probably isn't Far Cry. Unless it is, and I'm, like, second-guessing myself here. Uh, I'll throw you a bone and tell you it's not Far Cry. I figured not. Um, yeah, Ooh, I don't think anybody's... Really good was... with the... Really good with the reverb there. 
Mech Assault Man got it. Well, got the game, not the not the actual what the song is. Oh yeah, yeah, he got what the song is. Nice. So that tells me that it's a game that Mech Assault Man has played. Yeah, I'll I'll allow you to use that as a clue. That's not gonna help me much, unfortunately. <laughs> I feel like this is just not something we've really covered. Have we covered it at all? Um, not that I can think of. Ugh, that doesn't exactly help me all that much. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't really have much of a clue here. So I'm going to take the wildest of guess here, guesses here. Based on, like, the motifs and everything? Huh. Yeah, I don't know. Like, because, like... I definitely get, like... Dark vibes from this. Yep. I have no clue, though. I'm gonna take the wildest of guess and say this is from... Demon Souls? Is that your final answer? It's the best I got. Uh, no, sorry. I... Yeah, don't don't feel bad about it. This is from Destiny 2. Ah, uh, okay. Destiny oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. yeah, that's right. Mech plays Destiny uh, with uh, Z a lot. Okay, you know what? I'll, I'll concede to that one. Yeah, no, I, I haven't touched Destiny. Uh, this is from The Proving Grounds. It's a boss fight theme. Um, Ignovan, chosen of Kyatl. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, Jalari, I have no idea what any of this is. I did some wikiing, but... I'm just not familiar with Destiny. It, it's a good track, though. It's a good track. They definitely they definitely use like a lot of really subtle techniques that uh, like really up the quality of the song once you actually like notice them. Like they they use a lot of really good reverb here. All right, I'll concede to that one. Good one. Yep, good one. It it, it is a very big game. It's just not. Mm -hmm. It's not been in my or Oscar's sphere. Yeah, and also Destiny, uh, Destiny, and by extension Destiny Two have like gone under some divisive situations given its development. Which, I really haven't been following it. Yeah, like there, there, it's a, it's a bit of a thing here and there. The game's definitely a lot better now, from what I'm to understand. But again, I haven't touched it. Uh, track number fifty-eight is coming from Adam Bacon. All right, here we go. Hmm. Palm tree, I agree. This is a chill vibe. Yeah, I don't recognize this one either. I'm gonna say I didn't think you would. Uh, Magus, I'm sorry to say I don't think your submission made my list. I'm sorry about that. It was a very tough elimination process. The reason why the track numbers are going up to 60 is because it was hard enough for me to first get the hundreds of submissions narrowed down to 60. I'm actually really impressed that we that that, that like it's become popular enough that people are giving us hundreds of submissions. Yeah, we got a we we still got 72 people in the room. We've been holding at 70 all night. Usually wow. usually people start to drop off after a certain point. I'm actually really impressed by that. Thank you so much, guys. Yeah, you guys are amazing. Okay, so I'm going to give a thought process here. Sorry, sorry, one second, Oscar. You girl, how the heck did you guess that? Who are you? <laughs> I'm sorry, go ahead, Oscar. Okay. <laughs> No, great job, you girl. I mean, she probably she, she probably like she probably didn't <laughs> guess it. She probably knows it. Yeah, because you probably played it. <laughs> um. Okay, so my immediate thought is I'm getting horror game vibes from this. Like, I can believe like this might be like the title theme for a horror game. <laughs> okay. What? Am I on the right track? I mean, <laughs> I guess some people would call it that. <laughs> Uh. Okay. <laughs> it's not a horror game now. 
Okay, well, that, that, that eliminates my thought process there. Ah, oh, frick, I have no freaking clue. Um, oh, oh, I see. That explains to you, girl. Um, Little Princess says, stay hydrated, kids. Got it. Yeah, I got nothing on this one. So let us take the wildest of guesses here and kind of like try and suss it out based on the style of this music. Because again, I'm, I'm getting like... You know, you know what's funny? My initial thought was the Cat Lady. Like I'm kind of getting Cat Lady slash um, like maybe a little bit of Silent Hill vibes from this a little bit. Know what I mean? Yeah. But if it's not any of those, ugh, I have no clue. Okay, another series that kind of has this vibe, and this is like the best I'm gonna, uh, this is the best thing I'm gonna get. Is this Shin Megami Tensei? That's my answer. No, it is not Shin Megami Tensei. I thought, I, like, I, I figured not, but it was a wild guess. Um, oh, Super Magnemite is asking you a question. Um, okay, I'll get to your question in a minute, Super Magnemite. Um, uh, this is... This is the desert theme, the wasteland, from The Dog Island. Have you heard of the game The Dog Island? No. Uh, it's a game on the Wii, look it up. Um, I'm scared to look it up. No, it's not, it, it's a game for kids. Oh, okay. It's not a horror game at all, that's what's <laughs> so funny about this. It's, it's actually a very cutesy game. Um, See, that's I funny know... too, because if it's a cutesy, if it's a cute, this is very like, this is very atmospheric and very like well composed for what's supposed to be a kids game. So the Dog Island is a game where it's kind of like a like collecting crafting RPG, except like like brain dead simple of you running around an island as a dog gathering things. All the characters are hyper cute dogs. Like it looks like it's for like the tiniest of babies. Yeah. But the plot of it is that you're trying to get medicine to save your chronically ill little brother. Really? Um, this game partially got... This game partially went viral because Game Grumps played it. Oh, okay. That explains it. Wow. It's a very yeah, bizarre game. Yeah, because, like, I'm listening to this and this doesn't sound cutesy to me. Like, this isn't cutesy. This is, like... This is very chill, but, like, also in a sort of melancholy sort of way. And it has surprisingly good music. Wow. Okay. I'm impressed. Cool. Um, to, get, to get to your question, Super Magnemite, um, wanted to know your favorite song aside from Snake Eater. Oh, that's a loaded question. Um, if I were to think of one off the top of my head, I would probably say... Sheesh. That is hard, but uh, I'm gonna go with uh, one that one that I always like is uh, uh, that uh, always uh, puts me in a good mood is um, uh, Hateno Village from uh, Breath of the Wild. Oh, really? Yeah, I always put that song on whenever I want to calm down. But if we're That's talking, a great song. Um, that being said, like if we're talking something more grandiose and more like. You know, it's something that is absolutely insanely good, no matter how, like, no matter how you listen to it. Um, another one would be Genova Quickening. What's that from? Uh, Final Fantasy VII Remake. Oh, okay. I, I, I'm going to tell you this much right now. If you play through Final Fantasy VII Remake, I went through a nostalgia-filled, euphoric frenzy when I fought Genova. <sighs> Genova Quickening is something else, man. You girl says, I'm sad I couldn't clip me stumping comic foil. Clip editor wasn't functioning. Uh, well, it'll be in the, th this video will be on YouTube later. Yeah, we're so gonna, at we're least gonna, there's I'm, that. I'm going to edit some highlights from this. We got two songs left, Oscar, and you're at uh, 72 points still. All right, I'm ready. Uh, this one, number 59, is from JP. Ooh, okay. Hmm. Uh, 
Uh, Josh the Night Fury, have you listened to Zero from Ace Combat Zero, The Belkin War? I have not. Can't say I have. I, I actually don't know what that is. Okay, this is definitely older. You want to know what? Based on the instrumentation and like the and and the uh, and the composition, my immediate thought went to Darkstalkers. Um, I'm gonna let you know something about this one. Also, that unlike the last few, this is something that I would expect you to be more familiar with. Okay. Then yeah, my immediate thought goes to Darkstalkers, but I don't know if it is. Because like from what I from what I gather, it might be like from Darkstalkers one. Uh, Solar Gem X, you are correct on the series. Jalari, you're close. Hmm. Kubicoon forty five, good guess, but no. But I do love that game. The thing is, like that. That syncopation, or not that syncopation, but like that particular instrument, like the electric, uh, like the electric piano, gives me the gives me the thought that this might be on the GBA. Okay. I. Uh, Solar Gem X. No, you were you were closer before actually. Because there's like that that one instrument like specifically you want you want to know it gives me it gives me Mega Man Battle Network vibes. Oh, huh, okay. This part in particular, like this is giving me some serious Mega Man Battle Network vibes. But the initial instruments are giving me Darkstalkers vibes. I'll, I'm going to take a wild guess and uh, say that that this is something from Capcom. It will give you that it is something from Capcom. It you is are from Capcom. You okay. are hearing those Capcom syncopations correctly. Okay, okay, so it is from Capcom. Uh, but that doesn't narrow it down at all, because, like, again, I, like, it could be either... Yeah, it could be either Mega Man or Darkstalkers. I'm gonna go with my gut here, and I'm gonna take a wild guess. Darkstalkers 1. And, uh, what from that like what would the song be this sounds like it would be a menu theme uh oscar i'm sorry it is Me mega man battle network what this is mega man battle network 5 this is depth the theme of the undernet damn walking around the undernet this is what you'll hear oh man yeah i remember mega man battle network 5 the least nuts yeah, that sounds like because I remember the Undernet being way more sinister. This sounds kind of chill for the Undernet, huh? I mean, it's not like I. It has. Am I correct in saying it's it's in a minor key, isn't it? Uh, da, yes, da, it is. Da, da, da. Yeah, yeah, it is. The it's got that is, minor key going, but it is also chill. You're right. Yeah, this is a lot more chill because I remember specifically Battle Network 3's Undernet theme, and it's very sinister. Okay, well, I should have gone with Mega Man. Darn it. Still, that's a good one. Okay. Well, hopefully we can get something out of this last one. Yep, we got uh, one more still in the impossible category. Yeah, but if I know you, you save one particular one for the last one. I like, mean, I... Usually something that maybe I can get. Yeah, this is a something that maybe you can get. Um... I don't want you to be too confident on it. Uh, this one comes from Nuclear Android. Here we go. Ooh, okay. Wait a minute. I recognize the I recognize this. Uh Zeta Flake, thank you for the follow. Uh 
Uh, case no. That is the right game. Yes. Okay. 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 Hang on a sec. Nightmare Frame. That is the right game. You you want to know what's crazy? What? I am imagining, like my immediate thought, imagining the paws of a wolf galloping through the horizon. Oh my god, he did get it. I oh. don't know the tr I don't know the title of the track, but I he's, think he's this getting there, guys. He's getting there. I think okay. I think I know. I don't know the name of the track. This is the wolf's theme from Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. Oh, uh, shoot, man. Yeah. Yeah! Yes, I remember this! What is the title of this song? Because I remember this. The Hot Wind is Blowing. <clears throat> oh, okay. Yeah, the first lyric was Hot Wind Blowing. Okay. Ooh, <laughs> yep, I know. Dude. Metal Gear Rising Revengeance was something else. I... I thought this one would be easier for you. I didn't think you'd hit it right on the head like that. Great job, man. Yeah, no, I, ha I had to think about it for a moment because, like, one of the things I do is, like, try to associate um, the music that I hear with visual imagery that I've seen while listening to it. Partic and that helps a lot when it comes to video games. And I was yeah. like, oh, yeah, definitely. Like, zooming around, like, the horizon, like, you're, like, doing battle and everything. Like, like as, like, as a wolf. Like, yeah. that was really sick, man. And I was like, oh, this is this is a great track, too. So you kind of, uh, yeah, you definitely sense memory that. Uh-huh. It, it especially helps that Metal Gear Rising Revengeance follows a lot of the same motifs when it comes to their music. Like, this is, this is very, like, this is very, like, um, subdued heavy metal. And well, Oscar? That, 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 oh, like, sorry. that's the same motif that follows throughout the entire soundtrack. Oscar, I'm pleased to tell you that um, with a average of 62.5%, you end with a score of 75 out of 120. Woo! Not bad at all. Sorry, I'm just vibing now. Oh, you vibe, man. Oh, dude, this, uh, this, this song is awesome. Oh, man, and when they, like when they do the staccato notes with the with the electric guitar and let the lyrics shine. <clears throat> Alrighty, guys. Um, on that note, thank you guys so much. Uh, this was a lot of fun. And as usual, Comic Foil, thank you so much for uh, helping me out with this. This was awesome. It is my pleasure. Awesome. Um, look out for the uh, look out for the highlights on uh, YouTube, guys. I'm gonna see if I can get that uh, by Sunday, if not uh, by Monday. So, I'm gonna go ahead and head off. I need a snack. See you guys next time. Night, everybody.